Hello and welcome back to another tutorial video by OD Applications. So we will be continuing on where we left off, where we installed Visual Studio 2019 for Mac. Now we'll be opening up the supplied template files and how to do so. Uh, we can go ahead and eject or trash that installer. And if you guys have already downloaded your files for OD Apps View, go ahead and put them on a desktop. You'll have a file that looks like this. Simply go ahead and double click on it and you'll see here it's going to go ahead and extract the OD apps view files. So we have them extracted here. We can go ahead and trash that if you like or keep it. Now we have a folder called OD apps view. So within here we have the main file source code. Go ahead and extract the version three of OD apps view. Now some people were saying, um, just running OD apps view from here there was issues as far as the length of the characters to the file destination were too long so what we recommend now is to go ahead and rename this to something like OD apps view dash one and simply go ahead and put that on the desktop and now we can close this you guys can keep this file if you'd like it has certain things in here like the documentation and other things as well so within OD apps view to go ahead and open it within Visual Studio all we need to do is simply click on OD apps view dot SLN and this will go ahead and open up the Visual Studio manager project here and now we can see Visual Studio being opened and the project here will load so let's go ahead and wait for the project to load Alright, so we can see here that packages have been restored and that there are some warnings. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We can scroll down. Um, I think it's still continuing on here, but it does seem like it has finished and that there are actually no issues. So that's perfect. So all we need to do now is continuing on to the next video. But first, before we do that, I would recommend you guys first clean all. So that way it simply cleans the entire solution in case there's any issues with this project while you are importing it. Maybe it missed a package or maybe it missed one of the NuGets. And also what you guys should do is go back to build and simply rebuild all. Now when we're going through it, I'll be showing you how to test and actually be um, editing certain files. We'll be doing a simple build action here, but for now, we want to actually rebuild all files. So go ahead, let that rebuild, and then we'll continue on to the last and final step, which is to actually close and quit Visual Studio, and then reopen Visual Studio. You only have to do this for the very first time using the OD apps view project or solution and pretty much any project or solution that you're importing into Visual Studio. For some reason this is a bug that is within Visual Studio. Now you guys may not have to do this within the future if Visual Studio for Mac or PC actually updates this bug, but for now you'll actually have to close the solution, quit, and then reopen to continue editing. It's just a weird bug that Visual Studio has. So we'll go ahead and wait for this build to finish and then we'll continue on with closing the solution and restarting Visual Studio. Okay, so you may be asked to enter in your password. So go ahead and put in your password if you are asked to do so. And just like that, we have zero errors, and there's a few warnings, which are some little bit of depreciations, and we'll go over those in the upcoming tutorial videos. So now we guys are ready to move on to the next step, which is going in and actually editing, changing the names and the package IDs and identifiers for both Apple and Android. But we'll save that for the next video, so go ahead and continue on to the next video when you are ready.